everyone! This is Brit's Best, and today I'm going to be making French bread. The first thing I'm starting with is I have two and a half cups of warm water in my bowl. I have also added a tablespoon of yeast. I've let that um, ferment and it's bloomed. The next thing I'm going to add is I have two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. I'm just going to pour that in. And a tablespoon of kosher salt. I'm also going to add, here's the thing about bread. For me, I never measure my flour because I never know exactly how much flour I'm gonna need to make my bread the consistency that I want. So I usually start out with about three cups. It's not measured exactly or anything. And this is bread flour. Turn your machine on. So you can see it's kind of the consistency of a thick batter right now. I'm just going to add in a little bit more flour. I generally do about a half a cup at a time. A little more. You can see it started to form a ball, a ball and now it's kind of come apart again, so it needs a little bit more flour. My bread's been kneading for about eight minutes. Should be done. Ooh, it's heavy. So just clean it off your hook. The next thing I am going to do is grease my bowl. I'm just going to keep using this same uh, KitchenAid bowl. Just get all your dough out of the bowl. Then I have another tablespoon of butter here. I'm just going to rub this in my bowl. Grease it up real good. So any excess butter, just rub it on your dough. Put your dough in your bowl, kind of smooch it around. And then form your dough into a kind of ball. It's kind of like a mushroom cap. That's how I like to think of it, how you're gonna fold the dough. So you can see like, you just brought all the edges together on top it's round, just like a mushroom top. Set it in there, cover it with plastic wrap, leave it in a warm place, and let it rise until it's double in bulk. I'm going to punch on my bread. It's doubled in bulk. So I just like to use my fingertips. So. And then once you have it pretty well deflated, you just need to reform it into that mushroom shape like before. Set it back in your bowl. I let my dough rise three times, so I'm going to repeat this process two more times before I roll it out and bake it. It is now time to roll out my loaves. Take off my ring here. Just punch it down just like before. And then this time, form it into your ball again. Put it on your board and just cut it right in half. It's going to make two loaves. And I just put the other half back in my bowl along with my cutter. And I form this into a ball again just so I can uh, roll it out evenly. I don't roll it out with any more flour. It really doesn't need it. Just roll it out into uh, as close to a rectangle as you can get it. It's going to be lots of air bubbles in it. So 
It's not a very good rectangle, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna, this is the straighter side. So I'm just gonna roll it from this end. So just roll it up. And then I just take the outside edge, tuck it under. Same thing with the other side. And then just to make sure like this side's a little bit skinnier than this side, I'm just gonna give it a roll. And try and get a little bit more dough to the skinnier end. It also helps seal this seam right here. Okay. So once you have it rolled out, your sheet pan. My sheet pan is lined with parchment paper. Just gonna set it down. Needs to rise one more time till it's doubled in bulk on the pan. Now I'll be ready to bake. To get my bread ready for um, baking, I just like to put some slits in it and then coat it with an egg wash. So. All I have is just an egg that I whisk together with some water. Just going to help it brown up. Bake them at 450 for 25 minutes until they are done. So my loaves are done. I'm taking them out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool on a wire rack for about 10 minutes. All right, I'm going to cut open my bread. Let's see how we did. You can see it's super soft, which in my opinion is what you want in a French bread. I know they say man can't live on bread alone, but I sure wish I could. Thanks so much for watching.